Okay, we'll ignore C. <laughs> uh, so, anyone like to explain either your A answer or your B answer? And first tell me what you answered. Just curious what your thinking was. More of you answered B. Let me help you in the explanation. More of you answered B than A. And uh, I agree with you. So, yeah? Well, for B, um, at a constant pressure, you can release some energy through work. And so not all of the energy you put in is going to go directly to changing the temperature. Whereas at a constant volume, you can't um, really release energy by work. So everything just goes to the change in the temperature. So did everybody kind of hear that? At, at constant pressure, energy can be released as work. So some of the heat that you put in goes right back out again as work in raising the mass. And at constant volume, that doesn't happen. Whatever heat you put in goes into raising the temperature. So uh, I don't know that I, I'll I call that a good explanation. Anyone have any other way of putting that that they'd like to? Yeah. Um, I was trying to explain in my own head, like if, like for the sake of the conversation, if you have five milliliters of water and increase it by one kelvin, you're still increasing that same volume of water by one kelvin. So you're not you're not you're still getting a change in temperature or pressure. If, if it's in a container, it's going to expand or expand the container, and the pressure is going to be the same. And my explain myself doing that. Uh, can I ask you which one that you chose here? <laughs> which one you're? I chose B. I chose B. You chose B. Yeah, um, because I knew A was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's always good to choose B if you know that A is wrong. <laughs> um, on the other hand, beware of things that you know. Um, don't, don't be so confident about things that you know for sure. I, in this case, it works. But, but without, without being able to produce an explanation, uh, you, you could easily have known the wrong thing. Even if everybody else knows it, sometimes, I mean, the only way science, the only way our ideas of the world change is when the thing that we know turn out to be a little bit wrong. Yeah. Um, can we solve for delta C and then just call A like W equals zero and then B W is less than zero? Yes, you could, you could, so I guess I, I might look at it that way. If delta T is the same, what does that tell you about delta E thermal? If T, if the delta T's for the two things are the same, how do you find delta E thermal from delta T? What does it depend on? What have we been talking about? E thermal depends on T. Delta E thermal equals a whole bunch of stuff times delta T, and some of that stuff I could say is uh, one half KB, other constants. If the delta T's are the same, can the delta E thermals be different? This has number of modes in it. The number of modes was the same whether it was a volume change or a, or a pressure change. Number of modes depends on the molecules, how they rotate and things like that. We have the same number of molecules. Same number of modes, everything's the same. So I think what you were what you were saying is something like delta T is the same, so delta E thermal is the same, and one of them has energy coming out, so delta E thermal is the same for both, and one of them has a W that's negative, and the negative of a negative is a positive, so one of them has Q bigger. The one, the one at constant pressure has work coming out and so needs more 
heat. That's, a, that's the less physical way of thinking about it. I mean, we had a perfectly good physical explanation of what's going on. This is a little bit more of a mathematical explanation of what's going on. Delta e, if delta T is the same, then delta, and, 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 the, and our substance hasn't changed. So the number of modes is the same. If delta E is the same, and the number of modes is the same, then delta E thermal is the same. For both cases. But in one of them, heat came out. I mean, sorry, work energy came out. So since Q is delta E thermal minus W, because work energy came out of one of them, we must have had to put more heat in to get the same delta E thermal. And in talking about it this way, you can see if you put more heat in, then you can see what heat capacity at constant pressure, bigger or smaller than heat capacity at constant volume. If you have to put more heat in at constant pressure, and heat capacity is just Q over delta T, if you have to put more heat in at constant pressure because some of the energy comes out at work, uh, comes out as work, then the heat capacity at constant pressure has got to be bigger than the heat capacity at constant volume. It's always going to be true. And, and the reason is at constant pressure, something expands when you add heat to it and energy comes out as work. Any questions about that? You'll have a chance to talk about that in DL. Maybe already. No, I don't think you have. <laughs>